hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vivian and if you're just joining for the first time you're welcome please do well to subscribe if you enjoyed the video today I'll be talking about a very important topic and this is something that you guys a couple of people have asked me about in the DMs and um, yeah and I've got to like reply them so I just wanted to make a dedicated video about it which is about um, finding accommodation here in Canada and um, a couple of you guys have asked me if it's possible to get an accommodation before coming um, um, the price of an accommodation here in Sudbury and just a couple of things around accommodation and today I decided to make a dedicated video about accommodation to share my own experience uh, if you don't know I used to stay in the school residence when I just came into Canada so I stayed in the school residence for my first semester which I feel like is um, the best <laughs> way if you can get an accommodation in the residence it's just the best way to settle in right before diving into the pool of accommodation and its problem because it's not very easy getting a place here in Sudbury I don't know about any other place it's not it's it's not easy at all I moved out August but before I moved out I started house hunting around like June July um so I, I was searching the internet, looking for accommodation, I went for like different house viewing and at the end of the day I was able to secure this apartment that I'm staying um, by the help of my housemate to be honest with you guys. So we were able to get the apartment I think by the end of July or at the beginning of August, I'm not sure at this point anymore but we moved in September. So like I said, getting an accommodation here is not very easy. You have to go through like a lot of process and for new immigrants it can be very challenging and daunting and overwhelming sometimes because when they start going through like doing when they start doing their background check and start asking you for like different things that you might not have such as um credit history you just be confused you know so before i start explaining in details what all these things mean uh let me just tell you the, i'll just tell you guys the different type of apartments that are here in Canada. So um, we have the student accommodation, which I've like spoken about a bit. And also we have the basement, we have the um, uh, apartment, we have the houses like um, bungalow, duplex and stuff like that. And they also have the condos. But I'm not going to be talking about condos because I've not really seen like condos like that in Salisbury. I'm going to insert clips on my own um journey <laughs> my own house hunting journey and uh, so you guys can have an idea of the kind of apartments that they are that they have here in Sudbury. for people that are asking me about getting accommodation before coming like, is it possible and how easy it is um it's possible right but it's not very <laughs> it's not very easy because to be honest with you, there's a lot of um, house cam here as well in um, Canada. So you have to be very careful, do like due diligence. Do not pay for any accommodation that you have not seen. They might do like advertisements on any website or Facebook or something like that. Just be careful before paying because like I said, they go through like a lot of process. You have to fill in applications. You have to um, go for the house viewing and stuff like that before uh, you get the apartment. So if you're just going to pay outright, make sure that you have seen the apartment. You have told somebody here to help you look at the apartment to make sure that the apartment is actually um, true. Like there's an apartment and also to make sure that nobody is staying in the apartment. So they might be like it might be like an older advertisement right and somebody just put the picture online and you just pay for it and you find out that it was a scam so so that you will not be scammed <laughs> just do your due diligence but for me will i advise it getting an apartment before coming i would say no because there are different factors right so you some apartment might look good right they might look good like the inside might be nice, the building might be trash, you know, the environment might not be safe or not be good enough. So, so because you're new, you don't really know like the environment, you don't know how far or close it is to wherever you're staying 
or wherever you're going to be working or schooling or stuff like that so it's just very it's just best for you to come see how close it is to the bus stop see how close it is to your um work or school before paying for the apartment but like i said is it is, can you get an apartment yes is it advisable i will not i would not advise it i i talked about the, the different types of apartment um for the basements right for people that are asking if you can stay alone and stuff like that if you're looking to stay alone you most likely look at um staying in a basement getting a studio apartment or staying in an apartment so for like that you'd be able to um get maybe like a one bedroom a two bedroom right and in an apartment or a studio a studio is like um it's just like an apartment that doesn't have like a living room just like a bedroom alone so i don't self-contain here it's, it's called self-contain so um you can get that and the prices ranges from like um 750 right now 750 canadian dollar to like 900 canadian dollar houses are very expensive to be honest with you houses in canada are expensive i don't know Sudbury is is the ghetto i know the people complain about toronto and stuff like that but at least you can get a job in toronto right in Sudbury, i didn't want to go into it so and the houses in Sudbury are not very fine so i don't know why they are very expensive like i'll show you like clips of the houses that i saw and how they looked and they are telling me the house is like 700 or 750 dollars and i just like for this anyways um if you're going to stay in a duplex like bungalow and stuff like that be rest assured that you're going to share that's because you don't have a lot of money because most of those houses come in like three bedrooms to like sometimes seven bedrooms so in the old house so it's more, it's, it can be like a bungalow it can be like a duplex and you guys will most likely share like common areas like the um um the kitchen sometimes the washroom and stuff like that so uh if you want to get a house you should be did I mention the price? If you're going to stay in a studio, um, studio cost around maybe from like 900 to like 1,100 Canadian dollar for a studio per month. And if you're going to get like a house, like a one bedroom by yourself without sharing with somebody because the prices that I called, the 750 to 900 is for shared apartments. So in this one, you're sharing with like maybe two people or three people so it can cost from like 750 to 900 so uh if you're going to stay alone in like a one bedroom you're looking at nothing less than um 1300 to like 1500 canadian dollar every month also something you need to take note of is when you get an apartment you are going to pay for two months right so the two months is not let's just assume that you're getting an apartment for september so the two months is not September, October. The two months is for the first month, which is September, and the last month you're going to stay in the house. So you're paying in advance for the last month. So for example, when we got this place, the landlord asked us to pay the last month to secure the place. So it's like an adv advance payment for like a deposit, right? To be able to secure the place. So you, you pay the last month first, then, a day before you move in or the day you're moving in or like weeks before you move in, I don't know, it depends on what you want to do, then you pay for the first month. That's how it works. So when you are coming and you want to stay in an apartment, just budget that you're paying. So let's assume that, um, let's assume that you're going to be staying in a shared apartment and your house is like $750. So let's say, so just budget $1,005 to like $2,000 for the, um, apartment like at the beginning because also some houses require you to pay deposit so a deposit can range from like 200 dollars to like 500 dollars so yeah where i'm staying we did not pay for deposit but the deposit you can collect it when you were leaving <laughs> i think i've covered um majority of the questions houses in um, canada are they furnished um sometimes you might be lucky to get houses that are furnished but majority of the houses in Sudbury um are not furnished so you have to like furnish it yourself get like um your bed your tables and stuff like that so like i said for me the best bet if you're coming in as a student is to secure um 
an accommodation in the school residence because you're not paying for um you're not paying for electricity bill you're not paying for any bill it, um your internet and everything is covered you have your bed you have everything that you need to settle in so you're just coming in with your bags and it will help it will help save money to help save you from a headache of landlords and surfing the internet to get um accommodations and stuff like that it's not very easy to be honest with you you can mess up with your mental health <laughs> if you're not if you're not very careful because it's like yeah so if you're able to secure an accommodation in school uh it's just better to just stay in the school residence for like at least three months build up your credit um score so that you'll be able to have like a good credit history and be able to be and you'll be able to use it for um and you'll be able to use it when you're trying to like get an apartment later on also um another advantage of staying in the school residence is that it helps you connect with people like i said i met my housemate when i was staying in the residence she was in my department as well so it will help you know people that you can stay with because sometimes i remember when like i was looking for apartment and um they were saying that they could not rent like it was a two bedroom i made sure that i was, I was looking for a two bedroom and um the, some of the houses were like they cannot rent out one room to me so you have to look for somebody that you can if it's a two bedroom three bedroom you have to look for like three people complete to be able to rent the place so staying in the school residence also help you to like meet people so that you can at least know their character and see if you can stay with them or not so i think that's that's the old thing so let's get to where you can get um apartment like where you can search for apartment before coming so for me um if you were not able to secure a place in school um the best the second best option is to get an airbnb before coming so the airbnb is like a daily um a daily rental so it's like a short let also you can use pay daily you can pay weekly you can pay monthly it depends on how long you want to stay there but it's just short stay basically so getting um using an airbnb is it will help you settle in if you're going if you if the school option is not for you right it will help you settle in when you just land and you'll be able to come down to look for like a place to stay so there's airbnb.com.ca i don't know if it's a ca but there is every airbnb everywhere so i feel like it's kind of popular right the the other website that you can use is kjg.ca there are lots of apartments there, different type of apartments, short stay, long stay. The the last place that I would recommend is Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I used Facebook Marketplace a lot when I was looking for my own apartment, and I got a couple of place like a couple of places I applied online. Even though some places I wasn't unable to get in um, because of different um, factors, but majority of the house that I that I found was on Facebook Marketplace so it will help you um i think basically i've covered everything if you have people here i feel like word of mouth is also very important if you have people that can maybe tell you if there's any telegram group or whatsapp group that you can join so that people can tell you like houses that are available and stuff like that it's also a very good um suggestion or idea that you can use and follow and also um yeah basically like i said it's not very easy getting an apartment um, outside Canada so it's always very important to come here look for whatever you want before you pay right and like I said also apart from um just getting an apartment it's just a long process they have to do like a background check they have to check your credit score and stuff like that which uh I so people that are messaging me to help them look for apartments will not be able to help you do because I'm not going to be the one staying in the apartment so they're not going to check my credit score so they still have to know you and check your own history and stuff like that so the next clip you're going to see is just me showing you guys a couple of places that i checked before eventually um getting this place and settling for this place and i'll see you guys in my next one i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it if you have more questions just let me know in the comment section and i'll be there to answer your questions
Oh yeah, yeah, after six months or after a couple of months. Oh, you're really close with your here. You really have to, you, well, you have a bus station that's really close by, right on mm -hmm. the corner. So if you don't have a car, uh, you so have, I have the car. So you have three three parking slots. So we do it once if you don't have any input. Um, August ending. So this is what? Uh, so that's a storage. Basically, that's the furnace area. So it will be used for storage. Cool, cool, please. So that was all. There's a lot of stuff for previous tenants. Stove, storage, microwave. Yeah, very nice. And so what's the? Let's talk. One bedroom apartment. So the price is seventy. Hey guys, wow, we're looking for a house again. Wow, I know. So the neighborhood is so beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. It's nice. I wish I had a little bit of a house. Should have been nice. Like, this is cool. You see, I. Hi. This is our second house on team. We did the first one before. Turn left on the Valley Street Drive. But we're now going to move school. And uh, so looking for a house, uh, it's, it's a struggle <laughs> to find an apartment, also to look for like affordable apartment, it's not easy. So the house that you're going to be seeing, if you're looking for a shared apartment, it's like this, which yeah, this is it all right? No, right is the wrong way, it's this way. So, so you're looking, for, so you're looking at like getting from 650 to like... 800 900 for shared apartment so people that send me a message that something is 350 i don't know maybe another province but here in ontario sure, you cannot get any accommodation for 350. i mean this house is fine Oh, I'm coming back, we'll snap that house. Yeah, this white one, right? Mm. It's just my kind of house, like the kind of no, this other black one. Now, like, like black house? No, like oh. the other one. Sorry, that has dark black door mm. and gray, just like that kind of color. Oh, god, the house is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These houses are very close yeah. to Cambrian College, just yeah. in case you guys are looking for apartments around Cambrian College. So, oh my yeah. Oh, that's my car. Now you buy them. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. This one? Yeah, that's my daddy's car. <laughs> you said that's your car. You said that's your car. Let me drive and pass. No, no, let me drive and pass. So the rest please. Uh, we are still we are still on it. Uh straight, we are going straight, then we are going right. I don't think you even know this route. Hey, I was just, just using the Google map like. The funny thing is I didn't even know if there's a bus. My, find my, my do you know if there's a bus? Have you I ever seen? Go, I did not see bus. So there's no go by this thing. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to do during winter? Don't go by this thing here now. Yes, yes, GRO. They believe everybody has a car, so there is no need to put Gova bus stop because if you put nobody, you know, carry anybody. Well, I've gotten to the future place. Oh my god, this place is a busy. Go right, go on the video, leave the video. Oh, are you, are you, are you a rich girl? I didn't aspire to acquire. I'm still with you. I'm still with you. Where's this place? This place, 545. This is 543. 545. Oh, okay. 
Hi. Hello. Very well, thank you. How are you? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is like just the two piece. Hi. Oh, I don't the same thing. <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Your face is not showing. It's nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of space. Yep. And a lot of things. Oh, so there are four rooms up. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, two people are sharing a room. Sorry. Two people are sharing a room. Oh, uh, two people sharing a room. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the master bedroom. There are three people who share it, and so it's time. Sorry. We just take turns. Not There's a closet. That mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you that furnished and thought that the room is furnished, but I went to uh, the kitchen and all is furnished. So you need a bad dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because so yeah. Yeah, you did open that. That's fine. It's like a board and uh, it's like a rod. Oh. Yeah. Now this is huge. Yeah, there's a lot of space. Mm. This is actually nice. if the bed is it. Hi guys. I want to go look for another apartment. Hi. That's my friend, Dolori Biscay. <laughs> Tokbe. I have a name. His name is Tokbe. Yeah. Hi, That's guys. my gym instructor as well. He would do. No, please, please. I'm not yet. Um, what's our upcoming? Okay, he's okay. upcoming gym instructor. <laughs> upcoming gym instructor. <laughs> and the students, the students will be getting slimmer. The students is getting fatter. <laughs> no, she's not ready. She's not putting a lot of energy. Yeah, it's good. Me, I'm not putting energy. Yeah, you just go there to your phone. Ah. Uh, and take pictures and take videos. Ah, uh, that's not true. Anyways, once I look for, I want to go check for an apartment that I saw on Facebook Marketplace. He has found house, so I'm the one to a double turn left house hunting. <laughs> turn left. All right, see you guys. I'm at the One lady legit told me that. Oh, this Nahat is like be showing us the street. Come here, my boy. Be coming here. Come and be showing people the street. I like Kumba. Oh, guy, okay. I'm taking to show you today. Hmm. Hmm. Really, when you look like this, is that bad? Man, looking very bad. I know. <laughs> you can take it now. It does not matter. I was supposed to charge my phone before leaving. <laughs> my phone is dead. Are you serious? I'm in percent. Never percent. Ah. So even the video I want to take, hey, well. yeah, nice. <laughs> The video of the house I want to take, go. I cannot take it. Let me just keep my battery. Oh wait, who actually said that your YouTube clips? Hey, I'm good. I was like, oh. In your comment section. Eh. Right? Be showing, be showing the, the streets. It's the streets we want to see. Not your, <laughs> <laughs> not your face. Okay. And there's a cleaner in the building. She cleans every week. Okay. So this weekend she'll come and clean this room too because he's already cleaned out. Not closet. Um. Okay. I guess uh, we we'll should get our Wi-Fi. Uh, the, you, you can get Wi-Fi, there's a shop right there for oh, Wi-Fi. Okay. Yep. The guy that lives here has Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Would it feed for both of you? No, it's just one no, person. Just you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll show you the bathroom, too. Oh, my God. Thank 
can just shoot for me. There's these two, one and two over there. So there's two others plus that one. So there's three. Three people, three single people. Okay. All right. What do you think? Uh, we're waiting for boss. Well, we're waiting for boss. The house was not giving anything. He was giving ghetto. He was, yeah. he was giving trenches. He was giving what I don't know. But, um, anyways, I'm not taking it. Even the woman was like, oh, I don't think a lady can take it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a guy. I don't know which guy. I don't know which Nigerian person will come and take that safe. Guys, are you serious? Shout out to What are you like? You're supposed to school. Mm. Like school of India and the mm. Are you serious? Yeah, well, it's, it's, small. it's small. The room is very small. I don't know why they kept the kitchen in there.